Okay, so I was sitting here thinking, how do I actually start this video, right? Because I had no clue with how awkward this is, and it's just gonna get even more awkward as we move through the minutes. Most of us definitely know a couple of hypebeasts ourselves, and if you don't know what a hypebeast is, I'm not cool enough to show you, but here's a few examples. What up, what up? Uh, glasses 200, cross chain was like 2k. Chains. 2.5k Chains are 60 My chain is like 700 T-shirt 400 Shirt was like 500 Chain at 50 Sweater like 800 the Supreme Louis Vuitton Too much Like 10,000 A lot of ice Too much Extendo t-shirt Free my three girlfriends, chat chat. Yeah, so you get the point, right? That these bees are just in love with their designer goods and all the branded stuff, and they cannot live without them. They cannot function without them. You see, guys, just by saying this and showing that part of an American video, I've really pissed many, many of the younger hype bees over in Singapore at the very famous Cine Leisure. And yo, my apologies to my Malaysian friends. Yeah, I, I have no idea where all your hype bees hang out. But feel free to leave it in the comments and let us know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> now that you have the full knowledge of a hype beast, this particular brand called Ambush seems to have a very very different take on it. I was scrolling through Facebook on a random day with no intentions of finding a video idea, right? But that's up till I saw this post by KL Soul. Everything was in Chinese, but fear not, there's an amazing translation feature. Cable tie, cable tie, cable tie. It's been a long time since I've been in the middle of a long time, and I'm going to have a good time. What? What is that? <laughs> oh, we gotta do this. Rate this translation. Five star. I cannot... <laughs> what the hell was this? The thing is, when I first saw this post, I thought, no, there's no way. Like, somebody's definitely trolling on the internet. Like, like it's normal, right? To add on to it, the names of the product. Like, the names of the product. Zip tie bracelet. Another one, zip tie ring. And then another one, new zip tie two finger ring. And it's not just zip tie based, no. Like... There are way, like, more products in this same agenda, like... Oh my god, I'm telling you, like, when I saw it, I was like, yes, okay, this is the video, I... <laughs> Once I got to know that these were actually legit, I took it to Instagram because I wanted to know what the people thought about this. And man, <laughs> within minutes, people came pouring in questioning what the fuck was I actually showing them. Some of them even started to have doubts exactly like me. Prices were being guessed from 15 to 30 to 60 bucks. And yo, this one, one fearless man even wanted to put his life on the line by trying to sell this type of items to his mother lah. Please don't. Seriously, you will actually get slapped. So please don't. It is too risky for normal people like us. You don't understand. I cannot imagine you, know, you like go to your mother and say like, yo, can, can you, you want to buy this just cost like $600 and then like you show it to her. Oh, oh it's pretty cool. It's a jewelry. Fuck. Hell, I tell you the one you will gonna <laughs> please don't do it. <laughs> but one of the most common reply I got was going over to Mustafa and getting one for free. And one of my friends even coincidentally was near Mustafa. He went in to actually get the band. <laughs> The problem, however, was everybody, including myself, was taken aback by ambush from our all-time favorite Facebook comments all the way till our friends over at Mothership. There was hardly any chance given to them regardless of which direction the comments came from. There was only one way to be completely fair with this and that is to do a comparison between the $1,000 zip tie and a normal human zip tie. Since it's been a super long time ever since I took you guys out, Today is the day. Today is the day we both go out together and spend about thousand bucks on a bracelet. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> and off I went to the designer stores. I was so happy, you know. I was even chatting up to the camera and hyping you guys up without knowing that I messed up the audio settings. But all that wasn't even the main point. The idea was to get our hands on the thousand dollar bracelet. There I arrived at the first store and this 
dumb store didn't even have zip ties. Just look at the disappointment on my face. Thankfully, they had their gold designer collection on display which I was allowed to film at such a high-end place. I, I gotta be thankful for that. But I clearly wasn't about to just give up all hopes of getting the bracelet. I just knew I had to make my way down to the second designer store. This was more like it. They had so much of silver jewellery in stock and yo, they even sold the lock separately and I just knew this store was legit, right? I even told them that I'm filming a YouTube video. I spoke to them about you guys even and tell them that, you know, y'all have been right here from the start. You guys will enjoy this video and they were so nice to let me try out the latest and new stuff that only the cool kids, only the cool hype beasts were allowed to wear and I am just so thankful to them. So big shout out to... Okay, yeah, you don't need to know this shop's name for now, for now. But most importantly, they had what all of us are waiting for so long. I had finally found the zip tie collection. But as you can see, these are all the low end $120 to $180 bracelets. So I had to ask the staff, where the hell is your high end collection? Auntie, yeah. this one you don't have golden color on? Nah? Yeah, only black color on? Nah? Yeah, the ambush brand don't have? Nah? Only got this brand only? Nah? Yeah. Ayo. The ambush one quite better. Eh? Everything was just downhill at this point. If I don't find the bracelet, this video just won't be a success. But thankfully, I met this beautiful girl. This girl was so overfed that she had problems holding her head upright. So I decided to sit down and have a chat with her. I was really surprised because she looked at me directly in the eye and said, If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> Yo, but seriously, if you guys are enjoying the video, just subscribe and hit the like button. It will help. What a waste of time came all the way to town. So many designer shops you can see behind me. Uh, it's it's literally all around but one didn't even have zip tie, another one didn't have ambush brand. All their zip ties were like 100 to $200 like I showed you all know. There wasn't like the thousand dollar range so it was very unfortunate. But we cannot give up now. That's right, I can't give up at this stage of the game. I was so determined making my way down to meet the person who can make this video a success. And there I was in his presence and all my doubts were clear. He made me realize the secret to actually making this video a success and it finally hit me. Uh, it finally hit me. It finally hit me that I can actually title this video as I, att <laughs> I attempted to purchase the $1,000 zip tie bracelet. Mr. Merlion's a genius! B went to a few designer stores. Some didn't even have zip tie bracelets. So disappointing. But you know what? We tried. I, I, I'm just sad I didn't get to spend that amount of money and get it here. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, that's not clickbait. Uh. This is not clickbait. I actually attempt... <laughs> oh my god. Big thanks to this dude for making a video on the exact product. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to watch the full video. I'm just going to skim through it like really quickly. Ah, there so it is. the <laughs> item in question is the zip tie bracelet. <laughs> it's in sterling silver and it's made in Japan. It is 42,000 Japanese yen oh before God, tax, it, which is around 380. And it's yeah, no, for us, it's like $865 as of now. As of today, the day that you're watching this video on the website, it is $865. And the mechanism, it's not apparent until you actually try it on. What? It's basically a hook that you go underneath yeah. here. And then when it comes out, it hooks on like that. And then it becomes... So from a <laughs> <then> quick glance... <laughs> and then it becomes a full zip tie. <laughs> so for the zip tie bracelet, right? The silver one, you can see right here. We use silver 925 for the products made of silver. And then there's a couple of stuff as to how to take care of it, I think. Yeah, it's that's about it. That's about, that's about what the bracelet is. I don't think there's anything more to for us to see. So when you wear it, yeah, there you go. It looks like that. Uh, it just... To me, it just does, nah, la. it's just completely not my thing. Like, even if I, I don't know, let, let me know, la. let me know what you think. So, y'all remember in the earlier part of the video, I said that they make similar products of the same agenda as well. Yo, I wasn't, I wasn't joking about that. Okay, look, look at this, look at this. Safety pin day, safety pin bracelet, $1,205. Like, I, you, I, <laughs> I'm lost. If you don't want a safety pin br uh, bracelet, it's okay. There is a safety pin necklace. <laughs> Bro, 1,000, hey, 1,000 for 1.4k. Only one left. Make it yours, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so there's 18 carat gold plated silver. So, okay, yeah, so that is gold. That is why it's $1,400. Ah, this one. Ah, yo. Bro, I swear to God, if I see somebody in Singapore wearing this and walking around now, I, I really don't know. I think I'll go up and question it. I'll be like, yo, are you like, all right? Do you want someone to speak to? I can't. Where, where is my... Uh, that, like, like, isn't it the same thing? Fuck, wait, wait. I'm going to take fucking green colour. Yeah, like, like, fuck, I'm not kidding, right? Like, imagine, imagine if I see someone here. That, uh, I got, I got small one also. Uh, what is this, la? What? <laughs> crazy. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, this is just not for me, but I just find it really damn funny. <laughs> if there's one thing that this video has proven, I am not the market for them and I am, yo, I am 100% okay with that. I'm done. I don't want to speak about this anymore. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys didn't know, about a month back when everything was heated up, I actually did an interview with the Royal Singapore. Here's a segment of the clip. I was always in trouble for the wrong reasons. So I was like the class joker and then like, basically I was like the pop infamous, infamous popular kid in school, you know, doing everything that you possibly can do wrong kind of thing. And, <laughs> but I guess it was just a path for me to go on. So after five years, I, I just had the, the, I was at the moment where I had to make a decision whether to, am I going to make army my full out career for the rest of my life, or do I want to try something else in life? It's about what I've been doing, what I want to do on YouTube, da da da, and all that. Um, I've left the link to the full interview below in the description. Feel free to go and watch it. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I had fucking a lot of fun doing this video, honestly. Going out to get the clips coming in, external clips, so on and so forth. Because this video was something different compared to what I uh, usually do, right? But the but the problem, okay, not problem lah. What I did was, my mistake was, I underestimated the time it took to consolidate the clips, then to film it, then to edit it, like... Like, I underestimated it. That is why this video is like slightly later than usual lah. But let me know what you guys think of this style of format also because obviously, number one, it will help me. But secondly, I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video. It will help with the algorithm. I need to boost the, I need to boost the channel up again after all the time I left it to die. <laughs> Not like y'all don't know. <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hey, yo, come follow me on Instagram as well. So anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.